Hey guys, Brian with Zen Passion Adventure here. And the number one question I get asked in solar is how many panels do I need for my home? So that's an easy, it's both an easy solution and a complex solution. So I'm gonna give you the easy answer first. A, a good rough estimate is if you take your full kilowatt hours used for the year, look at your energy bill, take your full kilowatt hours used for the year, and divide by 1,550. This will give you the total system needed in kilowatt to replace your energy bill, okay? And then you divide that total system in kilowatt divided by the wattage of the panels that you are using. So that will give you the number of panels. So that was the easy solution. Total kilowatt hours for the year divided by 1550 equals your total kilowatt system size, DC kilowatt system size, and then divide that by the wattage of the panels. Could be 250 watt panels, could be 300 watt panels, could be 350 watt panels, but uh, that will give you the number of those panels that you need to replace your energy bill. That's the easy uh, solution. Now I'm gonna give you the more complex solution. We're gonna go through a full calculation because there are a lot of variables. This is a more detailed calculation of how many panels do I need for my home to supplement my energy bill. We did the rough estimate already. Total kilowatt hours used for the year. Look at your energy bill, add it all up. It's divided by 1,550 hours, and that's total DC system size in kilowatts. Okay, in our example here, we'll, we'll be looking at a client that I had, and he had 13,146 kilowatt hours for the year. Divided that by 1,550 hours, and that was 8.48 kilowatt system size DC that he needed to supplement his energy bill. Okay, and then we div he chose, there's a lot of different panels you can choose from, different wattages. He chose a 280 watt panel, so that's 0.28 kilowatts. So 8.48 kilowatts divided by 0.28 kilowatts is... 30.29 panels, that's how many panels that he needed. Okay, and you can't have 0.29 panels, and so I always round up to 31 panels. Okay, the more detailed calculation, some things you need to take into consideration. Okay, this client lives in Southern California. The, the number 1,550 hours comes from an average sunny day of 4.25 hours of peak sunlight per day in Southern California, okay, which is, I think it's the sunniest place in the United States. So take that into consideration. You might need to decrease this number. Do you live in a less sunny area of the world or less sunny area of the United States? Um, take that into consideration. If you're, you might only be seeing three hours of peak sunlight a day or 3.5 hours of sunlight per day times 365 days and that will be your number that will you will use for this denominator okay now we're going to go through the energy bill month by month and some things you need to take into consideration did you go on vacation at any time during that year that will affect your usage reporting for that month and so this will report a lower usage therefore you'll need your calculation will yield you lower panels and so you need to add the usage in if you're uh, going to be in town you know throughout the year what appliances did you use the most heating elements take the most energy the heater air conditioner refrigerator dryer if you have an electric dryer electric water heater okay these heating elements take the most energy what appliances are you planning to add? Are you going to add a new energy efficient fridge? Are you gonna, do you not have air conditioning now and you want to add air conditioning? Are you gonna go with electric heat, electric dryer, electric water heater, and you have gas now? So what appliances are you going to add? Are you planning to add? That is going to make a difference in how many panels you will need. You'll probably need to if you're going from gas to electric, you're probably going to need to double or even triple your, your system size, depending on if they're energy efficient or not. Will you run the air conditioner more 
now that you feel that you're getting free energy. I've had it happen several times where we put the panels on the home, say we put 31 panels on Mr. Dan's house, and the next year he feels he's getting free energy <laughs> because he's, he's getting energy from the sun, and so he just feels he can run the air conditioner a lot more. And then in September and October, he's calling me that he has a $300 to $500 energy bill again. And, so, and he's upset that I did not uh, calculate the exact number of panels. So you, if you're going to be running the air conditioner more, you need to take that into consideration and uh, you know maybe add 20%, 30%, sometimes even 50% more panels. Big thing these days, will you buy an electric car? This is the newest technology, electric cars. Are you going to have an electric car charger in your home? You'll probably need to double your panels size. Will you put a new pool or jacuzzi spot in your home? Okay. These take up a lot of energy. It's a heating element. These will take up energy. If not for the heating element, for the pump. Okay. The pool pump, if you're planning on filtering your water. Okay, and then always to take into consideration, you can always start with a baseline system, 30, 31 panels, and then add more if necessary at a later date. So uh, once you put in that jacuzzi or spa, then you can add maybe, you know, 50% more panels to cover that jacuzzi. Okay, so this is the more detailed calculation. Let's go through uh, Mr. Danny's example here. I'm going to show you the energy bill month by month. Okay, so this is the actual example of Mr. Dan, one of my clients. And you can see he gave me his energy bill and it shows total kilowatt hours usage per day average. So this year it was 24.53 in the month of December. Last year it was 21.77 kilowatt hours per day average. And two years ago, is 23.55 kilowatt hours average so it looks pretty consistent and so it gives you the total kilowatt hours average per month or per day every single month okay so I just took that here's Mr. Dan's home looks like he has a nice flat roof very good southern exposure exposure we can tilt these panels at about 15 to 20 25 degrees for good direct exposure to the sun and so 2015 December 24.53 kilowatt hours average per day times 31 days at 763.43 kilowatt hours November I took the average to be 22 over here times 30 days in November that's 660 kilowatt hours October I took 35 kilowatt hours to be the average times 31 days in October. That's 1,085 kilowatt hours for October. Okay, then we have September and August. We're getting into the hotter parts of the year. So people run their air conditioning more. So September looks like we had 50 kilowatt hours average. August it did 61.88. I think he gave me an exact number. So that's almost 2,000 kilowatt hours average, 31 days in August. And I just go through, you know, July 38, June 50. I can tell in July that he probably went on vacation because it's less energy used. And you're getting into the hotter months here. So I can tell he probably went on vacation in July. It's not a smooth curve. So he probably will want to uh, estimate up to here but I still took 38 kilowatt hours for average because maybe he wants to go on his plan is to go on vacation every year I don't know but I just want a baseline so June is 50 kilowatt hours May took 40 April and March are about the same I took 30 30 kilowatt hours average to be conservative January and February uh, looks to be about 25 or so times 28 days in February, 31 days in January. So these are the per month kilowatt hours exact, okay, or near exact. So total for the year, 13,146 kilowatt hours for the year, 
2015. Divide that by 1550 hours for the year of sunlight, direct sunlight. And this gives us a system size of 8.48 kilowatts. Okay. Now he chose a 280 watt panel, which is 0.28 kilowatts. Divide 8.48 kilowatts. Divide by 0.28 kilowatts. It, get, it gives you 30.29 panels. You can't have 0.29 panels, so I always round up. 31 panels to supplement the usage last year of 2015. So again, it's a good baseline to start with, and he can uh, increase it from there if he's going to add any extra, maybe a jacuzzi or to his home. Looks like he currently has a jacuzzi. Maybe he, has, he wants to add an electric car. I'm not sure. So uh, this is at least a good baseline of what has covered the past year of energy uses usage okay in southern california so we'll give them 31 panels and now i can continue my drafting my plans okay so hope this helps you guys out and uh let me know below let me know comments or uh, contact me if you feel i can help you uh, further all right thank you